greeted once tonight with the peace of the Lord. And those who are following us through the media, social media with the peace of the Lord, we're going to stand up in reverence to the word, which is in the Gospel of uh, Lucas. Gospel of Lucas. Lucas 12. Verse 20. Lucas 12, verse 20. Thank you. Luke 12. Luke 12, verse 20. It's projected too. Amen. What the word says. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Then who will those things be which you have provided? So it's the one who lays up treasure to himself and is not rich to our God. The God gave a gift tonight spiritual gift and the way the, the Lord the Lord speaks to the man we are a church that we believe in Jesus and we believe that Jesus is alive and that he's speaking speaking to our hearts and the Lord gave us a, a Lord a, a vision where he saw the condition of a man who came in tonight show the heart of this man had many plans he had many goals many objectives to be reached he had many plans to buy this and that he wanted this many money I want to invest this I want to invest in that and the Lord showed that uh, that He came in tonight, but in a, in a minute He understood the project of the Lord. He worked. And God put different values with different amounts in His heart. Your values are only done. Fasting, seek seek for me. The desire of the Lord was for Him to leave this place, understanding this. I'm going to be more faithful to you. In some, in some minutes, he forgot and, and heard the Lord. And tonight, the, this gift comes to, to show the word of the Lord is orienting us. What's the. He lives an experience, a bitter experience. The soul is something that the man cannot describe. The science, the, the science explain many things, but you that came in here tonight, be, know something. You have something inside you that's your soul. And the, and the soul, the man, which a scientific way cannot explain, cannot describe. And the soul, belongs your your soul belongs to the God when God creates the man he's, he, he blows the breath of life and this and this soul is eternal whether you like it or not your soul is eternal you will live eternally the man will die one here and the dust will come back to the earth because the man was it's going to live in a soul independently of being with God or not man has a certain in his life which is the death it's scary to say but we, we're certain of one thing that we're going to go with. 
if if Lord does not come, if Jesus doesn't come, we will we will depart. Your soul, your soul is gonna leave an eternity without Lord, or it's gonna leave an eternity with the Lord, with the God. And here, in the word that we read, this man, he was a rich man. He had many, many goods, many values. Had many goals, had many plans for himself. And I'm saying that it's not wrong. We have goals, we have objectives. The men have the, the goals to be reached. It's natural, it's common, it's healthy for us to grow. To, start, to want the best for us, best for our children. The man has this project, had his plans. But the question of the Holy Spirit for us is, the question from Jesus for that man on the parable was, was that, where, where is Jesus in, in your plans? What's your priority? He was a rich man. The man talks about, and agriculture talks about rich too. If it was today, today we'll talk about garage, cars, airplanes. That time was, uh, was food. I've grown a lot, I've made a lot of money, I achieved many things, but for us it's very common to say I was, I'm in the United States, I made a lot of money, I prospered, God bless me, that's good. It's not wrong for you to want to grow. It's not wrong, it's not a sin. And then that man said to himself, now I've made a lot of money, what am I gonna do with a lot of richness, with all this richness? I'm gonna destroy my, my warehouse, I'm gonna put a bigger warehouse, because I don't have any more place to put more stuff. I don't know what to do with a lot of money. Now you eat, drink. That man forgot something. Also, what I said, what we have inside us, our soul does not, does, is not fed with the things of this life. That's why David said, my soul is thirsty for you. When am I going to present myself to you? Our soul is thirsty of this, is thirsty of the spiritual things. We're here because one day Jesus delivered our soul. We're free our soul. We're here praising to the Lord because our soul is free to praise the Lord. We're here, here tonight because one day God reached you. You know, it was in a song, it was in a word, it was an experience. You were delivered by the power of the blood of Jesus. That's why you're here, because your soul wants to rest on the Lord. Your soul is thirsty of Jesus. Your, your soul is thirsty of God. When am I going to enter in your presence? Our desire is to be in the eternity with the Lord. We have our goals. We have our objectives. We will reach them. But what 
what God wants for us is that He wants us. He wants us. He wants us to think that He's our priority. We can explain the sadness of the soul because the man cannot explain the psychological diseases have grown each day. Diseases where the, 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 diseases where the man thinks that it's a disease, but it's not even a disease, it's the soul. It's a disease of the soul. It's the thirst of having Jesus in their heart. And you're going to leave this place knowing one thing. I went in the church and, and God explained to me what was the problem of my soul. And I want to say to you to now, the problem of your soul is, is the lack of Jesus. Yes. When you reach that blessing, you're going to glorify the Lord because you're going to understand that there is a God that's bigger than you. There is a God that governs, that governs everything that he can he can he can enjoy your soul and this church as an institution we cannot do anything for your life but tonight here the holy spirit the holy spirit which is the spirit of god it, this this spirit can please your your soul to, the lord showed that the service the Lord showed that this service, there was an angel that, that was playing a trumpet and announcing, was announcing that Jesus was coming back. He was announcing that our soul was being prepared. Some of them were joyful and glorifying Jesus. Glory to Jesus. And some were, were scared, were worried. This word is not... It's not to have, it's not to be worried, it's not to be scared, but it's to alert us, you know why, because the church is prepared to return of Jesus. When we see the word in, in, in war, in affliction, the word says, the scripture says that the, in the last days people will go to one place to, to another, the science will multiply, there will be hunger, there will be pests. The church sees that with sadness. But on the other way, it glorifies the Lord because we know those trumpets that have been, been played with the pronounce of the return of Jesus. It's the this, this certain that we know that our soul is ready to meet Jesus. And we know that that man says, so rest, brethren, our soul does not need that. For you to be happy, for you to have a, a balanced life, your soul does not need that. That man came, that man said, I came, I made a lot of money, and they said, now rest. Lays up, Jeremy. But God called him fool. Say, this night your soul will be required of you. The church today leaves that night period. The night is the period where, where the sun shines, where the another day is going to come up. And the, 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 church, the church leaves the expectation of a sunshine, of another day. The church leaves the expectation of the return of Jesus. The church is living at the moment of the night, waiting for the sunshine. If we turn out the light, it's going to be dark. We're not going to be, we're not going to be able to walk. We're going to stumble on each other. Spiritually speaking, that's the night. It's the prophetic period of darkness. The darkness, scientifically speaking, And the world lives this moment, which is the lack of light. It is the lack of Jesus. People are without directions, without knowing where they're going, who to go to. And the word says that in the period of night, 
God speaks to them, man. Better than this word for us, it's the word of awakening. It's the period that we wait. We're anxious for the return of Jesus, and He's going to come at any moment. The word says it's going to be in the blink of an eye. It's going to be, be in the blink of an eye, He'll be back. Or your, it's either your soul going to go out, or it's going to stay here. There's not a third way. And there, God speaks to that man. God speaks to that man, say, Fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Our soul will be before will be will, will be pre presented before God one day. We'll be judged for everything that we've done in our life. The word says that. And God asked that man. God asked him something. So you God says to him, You worry about richness about making money, buying cards. You worry about a lot of things, material stuff. But though but God asks but God asks him, so what you have prepared? What have you prepared? For who is it going for who is it going to be? And we know something. There's a church that is there's a church that is worried that's worried of the word of worry about the return of Jesus. This word here is not a word to not to give us and let us be worried. It's just to alert us that Jesus is coming back. This church this church you were you were, you came here to announce this Jesus coming back and will come for a faithful church for a church that's been prepared for the rapture a church that one day heard the call of the Lord Jesus if you're here tonight know something you're here because God elected you to be here he chose you to hear this word he chose you to solve for, the, for the salvation he chose you to live in the heaven he chose you to win the battles you know something nothing's nothing's gonna lack for you no material because the word says those that seek lord in the first place the other things will rule add he will bless he will take care of your family he'll take care of your kids your spouse is going to take care of your life. All you have to do is, is for you to put God first in your life. Put Him before everything. Give your life to Him. He will bless you that we can receive this from the Lord, this word. Jesus is preparing for us for the rain. That's the hope of the faithful Jews. Our soul rests on the Lord. But the things, things will get better in Brazil. Because the word says the words. The things are going bad, but we know something. For the faithful church, there will be salvation. For the faithful, for, the, for you that rests on the Lord, waits on the Lord, there will be salvation. There's always going to be a, a way out. There's no prayers without answers. There's no pleas of Jesus without blessing. All you have to do is one thing. Put God in the direction of God. Amen.
going to stand up somewhere we'll glorify the name of the Lord someone will be glorifying the name of Jesus we bless your name Lord because your church is ready Lord Each church is ready with the blood of Jesus. Because our soul, our, our soul ask for you. We adore you for your word, Lord. We adore you because we are, we are body of church. Because Maranatha, soon the Lord Jesus will come. We place because this place is holy because we feel your presence in the name of Jesus Amen
Bless be the name of Lord. Glory to Jesus. Dear Lord, we want to glorify your name tonight. Your holy, eternal name. Because we know, Lord, our, because we know, Lord, our soul has, has been joyful because our soul belongs to the heaven. We glorify you because our soul belongs to you. Because, because our heart, there is a hope in our heart. Jesus will return to take your church. We glorify you, Lord, because our hearts are in the things of you, Lord. We, we praise you, Lord, because you pleased our soul tonight. We surrender our songs, our adorations, our service to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Please be seated. For those who visited us, visiting us, would like to receive a prayer, we are here available. Please serve the Lord. Last month we were praying for the children, our lessons. This, uh, this Lord gave us a good, great blessing. This month, the month of... Uh, April is the with the young people and the and the college the college young guys. So starting on starting Monday, we start the fasting. The fasting is from midnight to night. And why are we saying that? Because at the end of this month, we'll have. Because we have a we we'll have a seminar here in the Florida for the for the young for the young servants from uh, Hallandale, Pompano, Brandon. We're going to evangelize Saturday, and at at night on the Saturday we're going to have a special service, and on that Monday the EBD will be projected. So let's be interceding for the young. For that meeting that we'll have in the, in the beginning of May in Hallandale. Amen. And uh, remember that 10.30 tomorrow is Bible school and 7.30 tomorrow p.m. we'll have the service. There's also uh, been a seminar in England and tomorrow morning there will be a transmission in the Portugal of a mini seminar around midnight, around noon tomorrow. Those who uh, want to connect it, they want to follow. Amen. To all the peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord, Steve. You're a good man. I truly believe that. Os jovens, se, se quiserem, já podem se reunir. Uh, young, the, all the young uh, group wants to meet. Good night, Steve.